Monday Night Football here at Hunter Stadium. The Knights up against the Tigers. There are some new faces for the Newcastle Knights. Darius Boyd is their fullback. Anthony Quinn, a former Knight, returns from the Melbourne Storm. Kurt Gidley is back from a shoulder reconstruction. And Bo Scott and Jeremy Smith are welcome additions in the forward pack. The coach is Wayne Bennett. For the West Tigers, they also have some new faces. Tim Moulton is their fullback. Marshall and Miller, the halves combination. Braith and Nasta is an inclusion for the Tigers in 2013 in the back row. And their coach, the new coach, is Mick Potter. Big Willie ready to rock. And Kurt Gidley supplies the kickoff. The Tigers up against the Knights to begin Monday nights in 2013. As you know what? Heath Galloway it is who brings it back out towards the 20. Robbie Farry gets immediately to dummy half. Miller was at first receiver on the open side. They went down the short side. And they'll play it there through Braith and Nasta, getting an early touch. Here's Miller coming across again to Galloway. They play a 20 short of the halfway line. Farrell waiting. Now Marshall will kick early in the tackle count from his own 30. Not a bad strike either. And luckily for Newcastle, Darius Boyd had the speed to track that down. Otherwise, it was going to be a 40-20 inside the opening 60 seconds. He struck that beautifully. Now, that can be a real problem in the Tigers game. We know how deadly they are with their short kicking game, but their long kicking game at times can really struggle. I wonder if Braith Nasta takes any of that sort of pressure off Benji Marshall. Here is Uate. What a battle it will be between Aku Uate and Marika Korobeti. On the far side of the field in this first half. Jeremy Smith playing it back four with Dell. What a story Travis Waddell is. Knocked back a chance to play with the New Zealand Warriors in 2013. Took his chance as a call-up for the Newcastle Knights and he got one. Earlier in the week. And now a kick out on the full. The left boot of Jared Mullen. And it will be the Tigers who bring it back to the halfway line. Oh, great place to start the Tigers set. They got their kicking game off on a, a great start with a, a kick from Benji Marshall. That one from his opposite number, Jared Mullen, in the sixth jumper. Not so good. Farrah heading out to the left-hand side, linking up with Adam Blair. He gave it away, Farrah keeps it alive. He shows it a couple of times before giving it back to Galloway. This is a terrific chance as we look from above. They go wide to Marshall. Comes out here to Acewood, puts a step on. And he'll play it at the 20. The Newcastle Knights end of the field. Paddy Utah bullocking and charging hard at them. He was a sight for Travis Waddell. He did a good job in stopping him. Now Marshall, rubbering. Not a great one, though. Cleaning it up was Kurt Gidley. And he has the ball for the Knights to work it away out of trouble. Yeah, great bounce there for Kurt Gidley. Popped up into his arms. It looked like it was going to sneak behind him. Benji not hitting it exactly how he wanted to. That can be the rub with Marshall's attacking, kicking game. Sometimes it's very hot, and other times it's as cold as you can get. That wasn't a great one to begin with. A rather simple turnover as it turned out. Snowden playing it from Waddell. They go to the right-hand side. Mullen set upon straight away. And Nasta there combining with Blair. And they'll kick from deep inside their own territory. Some pressure there on Kurt Gidley. Utai. He was rather conservative, wasn't he? Thought about getting to it on the full, but... Was happy to let it go out of play. It might have been an awkward one for him to get on the full two there. Kirk Gidley hitting the, the spiral punt that was going away from Matt Utai. He was happy to see it bounce. You're a specialist. By that time, it was too late really to do anything about it. The start not much worse off. A set piece. Jack, there's your outside leg up. Two hands, Jacob. Two hands, and I'll tell you, in front of Jack's outside leg. Heads into the back, Darius. Jeremy, bind tight. Line tight, Darius. Hold. Head in, Robbie. For you, Jacob. Two hands. Hold there, Kurt. What's doing? Yeah, no, we're going. We're going. Head in. For Hold. Hold. Get back in your lap. Plenty of instructions from the referee, Jared Sutton, at the scrum. They finally got it away, and the Tigers held it up. The ball had gone beyond the second row, and hence it's in play. Waiting for the play, the ball from Fulton. 
Chris. And all the possession to begin this game, running the Tigers' way after four and a half. They get a great go. chance to go on the attack once again in this next set. We'll see what they can finish their set with. Their first set down in the Newcastle 10. Wasn't a great finish with a, a pretty ordinary grubber kick from Benji Marshall, but starting their set on the 20 now. The leg pull from the Newcastle side on Liam Fulton was Willie Mason. Fulton it is. He takes it forward and he's just outside the 10. Is there a Tigers trick up their sleeve in this set? Marshall and Farrah working towards him. Buchanan, the 20-year-old on debut, just about stepping his way to the try line. Farrah coming out to give it to Miller. On the angle, and Nesta chasing hard towards them, stopped by a former teammate there in Willie Mason. Good run from the second row. Here's a spin, and Adam Blair got the flat ball from Farrah. He juggled it, wasn't hang on to it, and we'll see if he knocked it on into a knot. We've well, got it four. down cleanly. Uh, we've got yeah. a try. I want you to review that it's uh, if there's a knock on. I just wonder the fact that he spun his body away and into the Newcastle player. That might have stopped the Newcastle defender getting a hand on the ball. He's hung onto it in the end, but he did bobble it before he got control of it. That looks good to me. That looks fine. Chris Houston did get a hand to the ball, but I think he had control of it by that stage. Just. Yeah. There's no doubt it popped up, but by the time Chris, Handen's, Chris Houston's hand came around the back, he's pulled it back in. Not too much in it, but I think you're right. He got it back under control and clutched to his chest by the time Houston got a hand on the ball, if in fact he did. Touch the ball and not the forearm there of Adam Blair and the Tigers. They grab first points here on Monday Night Football. A lovely play, an impressive set of six. They could have scored off any number of plays before that. Buchanan went so close, as did Anasta. Yeah, a couple of great runs to set them, set this one up. Robbie Farrah, as we said in the pregame, he's got so many tricks up his sleeve. He's got so many options that he can throw at a defensive line that close. He hit Adam Blair with a flat ball, and Blair did a great job to drag it back in before Houston got a touch to it. It was a big signing for the Tigers in 2012. Didn't quite live up to expectations, Adam Blair, last season. Closing start for him right here, and for Benji Marshall, who converts to make it 6 nothing. What a start for the Tigers, Mark. Yeah, great start. Michael Potter would be very happy with that. I think Kirk Gidley might see a bit of traffic tonight, a bit of talk down here at ground level. The, tar the Tigers really targeting the left-hand side of the Newcastle Knights. We'll see if they continue Stand that side. method of attack. A rare try for the Tigers in the opening 20 minutes. At the back end of last season, they struggled for points in the opening 20 minutes of games. You have to go back to round 22. Find a game where the Tigers scored a try inside that first quarter of the game. Galloway playing. Here is Cora Beatty stepping through a tackle there of Gagai. And some help from Bo Scott. Oh, that's a real start from that right edge. They sweep to the right hand side. Here is Ashford off the back of Marshall. Getting away from Gidley, who was able to stay with him. And with some help from Quinn, they took him to ground. But they are throwing plenty at the Knights already here. This opening 10 minutes. The Tigers, well, they are the Tigers of a couple of seasons ago. Now Farrah from first receiver, mixing it up, supplying an option on the kick with Marshall. They also have a Braithen Astor out there, but playing in the back row, you wouldn't imagine Braithen Astor would be in position to do too much kicking as far as long-range kicking is concerned for the Tigers. No, in particular, if they're working it out of their own end, he's concentrating on, on getting the ball forward. He doesn't want to be sitting back, wasting time trying to organise the team where he wants the kick to come in. The other thing that Newcastle have to deal with is Anthony Quinn playing in the centres up against Blake Aceford, talking about them tacking this side of the field. And Anthony Quinn hasn't played much football in the centres. The back row at the back end of his stint with Melbourne in 2012, coming off the bench for Craig Bellamy. Newcastle Knights working it back into Tigers territory. Here is Jared Mullen. His first kick 
went out on the full. It's pretty much been the Tigers show from that point on. Now another kick which doesn't get through the line. They're going to say, though, the Tigers played at it. It was acrobatically taken by Uwate. And here is Bo Scott. And Newcastle, with almost nine minutes gone, finally get a chance to put some pressure on the Tigers' defensive line, which in previous seasons has been brittle. Snowden it is, working it forward. He'll play at about 12 out from the Tigers' line. Eventually, he'll play it. Now Waddell goes to Mason, stepping off the right foot, taken there by Jack Buchanan and also Galloway. Go to the right. Waddell himself will take a crack at them. But he really had to study the playbook in the lead-up to this game after playing for the Knights in a trial against the Rabbitohs and not knowing what was going on with what they were trying to do. Now they're going for the line. They will get there. A lovely ball, McManus diving in, and the Tigers crack under pressure for the first time in the game. Well, they really do have some great finishes. James McManus and Aquila Uarte, the wingers, you only have to give them half a chance. It was a terrific ball by Darius Boyd sweeping so around short, the back. So short. Benji. Darius Boyd struggled in the early part of last season. And there's Kurt Gigley driving it into the back of Chris Lawrence. Uate does a terrific job there. He thought he might have had to release the ball, but they gave six to go. And then on the fourth tackle, Gidley out the back to Darius Boyd. This is what he's good at. Summing up which player is in some space. And there's the extreme outside. And the corner cam gives us a great look at James McManus diving. And then the, the post being taken out. Gee, I hope they're hardy, those, those cameras <laughs> in the posts. It will be a difficult conversion attempt for the returning skipper. First up from out near the sideline to try and level scores after 11 minutes. We promised you some entertainment. What we've delivered so far, the Tigers, their attack, scorching it up here at the moment, but the Knights are applying. Italy's kick. On target, floating away just to the right-hand side. It'll stay the Tigers six, the Knights four after 11 and a half. And that will be the question as far as the Tigers' defence is concerned. What difference can Mick Potter make to it after Tim Sheens couldn't find the answer uh, definitively for the Tigers' defence? It's always been a question mark it. about the Tigers. They've always had the ability to get across the try line. Good signs from Darius Boyd early in the season. Him a little while to find his feet here in Newcastle last season. It was really clicking there, wasn't it? That play it was sharp. As with Dill, comes across to the middle of the field for the former Shark, Kate Snowden, to work it up towards the 20. Go forward through Houston, who runs at Aceford, with Marshall defending on his outside in this set. Jacob Miller depending on the left edge for the moment for the West Tigers. They'll swap at times to try and mix it up. So Knights going to get a continuous look at one half on one side of the field. Here is Boyd getting out of dummy half, looking for a quick play the ball so they have time for their kick. And it's Mullen who drives it low. The bounce down there. Moulton it is who brings it back, wrapped up and picked up by Mullen and also Gagai. They took him back the best part of 10 metres. They loved that here at Hutter Stadium. Good chase off the back of the kick. Now Farrell, feeding it for Chris Lawrence. Up there by Waddell. Fred the pokey's nose through the line and then some. And now Marshall, early in the tackle count once again, kicking it deep. That's a massive kick. It'll bound beyond the dead ball line, but then he was just outside the 30. When he struck that. Yeah, that's Wait, not a terrible that, result when you're kicking from that deep in your own territory. <laughs> Tim Moulton carting the ball forward, met by Jared Mullen, and also Dane Gagai. Yeah. And push him back, and that had the Tigers on the back foot. Third tackle kick from Benji. With the breeze helping them slightly in this first half. That might be the tactic kick early, kick long. And make sure that, uh, hedging their bets with their kicking game as they can do at times by running it down to the last and then 
running the ball, getting a hurried kick away. A little more structure at the moment with their kicking than what we've seen perhaps in the past. Here is Snowden playing it back at the halfway line for Newcastle. For Mason bumping it forward, looking to turn an offload, but they did a good job of wrapping him up. Galloway was there and so was Adam Blair. One more play down the short side they come. Gidley again a kick that finds a Tiger. Bounce off the back of Benji Marshall. And luckily for West, it went to Fulton. They clean it up now. Utah puts it down. And they're Scrum under there. pressure immediately Scrum. again. Scrum. Well, the six to go call that led to the try, oh, put the Tigers here, under pressure. Here. This will do a similar thing. Both sides have been able to take advantage of any field position gifted to them Should via see, penalties. Man. And for the Tigers, errors. It's early in the game. Yeah, you get the yeah, impression, though, already this is a big set of six for the Tigers defensively. Having cracked He's first time back. around, they were inside their own 20. They'll be pushed up against their own goal line here in a moment once again. Stand tall, otherwise their confidence defensively could really be rocked early in this game. And Mullen it is. He will work it forward to just outside the 20. Playing it there in the tackle of Farrup and also Blair with Dell. Goes across to Bo Scott. Here's Gidley, wrapping to the open side from the short side, giving it to Mullen. And at the back again for Boyd. Boyd going for the line. They have done it again. A long play to the left-hand side. He could have used McManus again, but he chose Time to out. go himself. Going to try. Can we check the obstruction back here? And then the grounding, please, H. We're just going to see what happened on the inside of that. Brett Sutter wants to have a look and see if there was any obstruction. Darius Boyd just too strong for the Tigers' defenders as he carried them across the try line. But it was, it was the work that was done on the inside of the field. Kurt Gidley going to the defensive line, not allowing them to slide. He straightens up. No problem so far, Jeremy Smith, Chris Houston. And that looks okay. Benji Marshall in cover. Oh, gee whiz, I tell you what. Darius, lost the Boyd, ball. Darius Boyd has spilt that football. Take a look at it once again here. Still has it there. But then as he goes to put it down, the ball comes away. That'll be a no try. And everyone missed it. It was a good thing that Jared Sutton was looking for an obstruction play without any, any suggestion of an obstruction play. It might have been ruled a try on field, as it turns out. I'm going to take a look at this play once again. There's I have no issue with that there, the, the collision. No, there's no problem there. Chris Lawrence makes the effort to move in and make the contact. Uh, let's forget about the obstruction now, and we'll, we'll deal with the drop ball, because there's no doubt that Darius Boyd has. Just, just don't sure. rush it, Brett, because I'll have to tell Kurt. That is no oh, try no. as we it's expected. Over the line, 20. Knock on in goal. It'll be a restart for the Tigers at the 20. Our video referees, Henry Perinara and Steve Clark, were OK with the contact between Keith Galloway and Kurt Gidley. All right, just set it to the boys. Right. Right. The Tigers right, are fortunate yep. that the referees thought that there was a hint of an obstruction. They get a break right there, but really Nick Potter watching on from up high will be very concerned at the way the Newcastle Knights have been able to run pretty much the same play now twice for one try and as close as you can get to not scoring a try. Here is Buchanan playing it. Good physique on the young front rower. Former Toyota Cup player with the Dragons signed for three seasons with the West Tigers. One of the best metre gainers in the national youth competition last year was Buchanan as Blair will play it here for Farrah. Comes back to Marshall, the bomb away. Coming across Boyd towards his uprights. Did very well. Has a tremendous take, swirling around in the breeze. He had to back away, going towards the uprights. And a lovely catch. He had a lot of ground to cover too. He ran 20 metres to catch that ball. It was spiralling and moving away from him. The fact that he took it gives the Knights the cheap 20 metre start. Yeah. 
Here's Bo Scott. Played here by Jeremy Smith. Now Waddell finds Mason. Working it up towards Buchanan with Aaron Woods waiting for a chance on the bench. Matt Bell also. Firepower on the bench as far as front rowers are concerned for the Tigers in this game tonight has housed it. The player 35 away from the west line goes back to Mullen who returns the favour and bombs away towards Corabiti. Oh, he went up early and knocked it backwards. Lawrence is there to clean up the crumbs, but he went very, very early. He's got some hang time, but he hasn't got that much. No, didn't time it perfectly. Sometimes you don't have to leave the ground either, and I think that was one of those times. The chase was coming through, but it wasn't there yet. And Corabiti put himself under pressure. There's Buchanan under pressure himself now from Houston. They've used up four plays, and they're just 15 metres out from their own line. A juggle from Galloway as well. They'll be kicking from deep inside their own territory here. And Farrah, as a result, elects to kick from dummy half. He was under pressure immediately from Jeremy Smith. That was terrific work by the lock forward. And as a result, the Knights have it here through Uate, already back in Tigers territory. Well, they put themselves under pressure there, didn't they? The field position, just not good enough to go forward to work themselves into that kick. Mason playing it. Adele comes across to Gidley. He cuts out one to give it to Anthony Quinn. And now he's picked up here by Ashford. He panicked. There was a call of Herald. And you're going to say you're going to bring it back and play it there. But he was under the impression he was headed for the sideline. Back here, back here. Perhaps beyond. Let's take it away from the sideline from Dummy Half. At the Tigers 30, Waddell going to Gidley. Change with Mason being replaced by Rocco and now Gagai spinning away from Lawrence. Still going. He got away from Anasta as well. Farrick gets to him and Lawrence came again to stop him inside the Tigers 20. Last play. Mullen rubbering under pressure from Blair. Another ricochet off a of Tiger. Might be three from their last three kicks. The, foot, the footwork from Dane Gagai, it is special, isn't it? Corabiti works it out for the Tigers, but Gagai, a real handful then for Chris Lawrence. Marshall, it was, taking a carry for West Utah. The earlier spill, a couple of set to go, hangs on to this one, but it's up minimal metres. They work it forward through Buchanan, that's a good run just when they needed one because they needed better field position. Now Miller, his kick. We'll go down there to Uate for a chance to get a bit of steam up as he brings it back and goes straight past Anasta. He's still going, got away from Moulton. The thriller, spilling, getting back up, giving it away. They'll play it here just outside the 20. Rocco plays it. They go to the right-hand side. A chance. Scott will give it to Gagai. Uate for the corner! He might have beaten Corabiti. He started it. Why wouldn't he finish it? It's all clear. And Aku Uate, the thriller on Monday night, lighting up Hunter Stadium. What a great sight he is. Aquila Uate bursting through the Braith and Aster tackle. Darius Boyd knew who to give the ball to from that kick return. Here he is. Uate up with a head of steam. Straight at Anasta. Didn't get much help there from Chris Lawrence. He comes back in field. Corabiti was coming across field. He slips. He offloads the ball. They take the tackle. And then it's quick hands. After the ball's hit the ground, just gets it down inside the corner. Gagai played his part as well. Back-to-back -back efforts there. Here comes that corner post again. Corabiti almost doing the job. Take a look at it there. No doubt about the put-down. It was all OK. Max Corabiti was trying to knock him into touch he couldn't do it 32 tries 
With Billy Uate's last 31 games. That is some kind of try scoring record. I went mean, through a period there last year where he struggled for some form. He was left out of the, the New South Wales side. We saw that ignite him too. He looks bigger than he did at the start of last year. I think they might have run him too hard up here over the offseason. And with that backside as big as possible. Well, it's big and powerful. The power is back. So are the Newcastle Knights in this contest. And an extra two to the scoreboard. It's 10 6. The Knights over the Tigers. Aquila Uate, Mark Gaznia. You former outside back, you would have loved that. Absolutely, isn't it an excitement to shoot machine? And I was just thinking to myself, a lot of teams, they traditionally play right to left because it's the better passing of a lot of players. On. But when you see Gagai, Uate sitting out on the right edge, they've got to make sure Mullen's got to feed them a lot of ball. A lot of ball. They've got the potential to be like a Gidley-Tahu combination. There's some sort of combination. Gagai and Uate. One of them on the left-hand side so far, and now the right. Stunning the way Uate was able to split them off the kick return. Jeremy Smith. Defensive work already has been very good. Pressure on the earlier kick by Farrah. Newcastle, some good field position. Now Adele choosing his time to get out of dummy half. The markers weren't ready. And I'll do it again through Boyd, who got away there from Liam Fulton. And he'll play it back as Tigers territory. So he'll play the ball now as Boyd... Went back to the turf. Blair chasing out, put a hit on Mullen after the event. They're going to say the tackle was okay because he did make a tackle. A convention, conventional tackle as opposed to a, a shoulder charge or leaving the ground. Corabiti it is. Just inside the Tigers 30. They grabbed the first points through Adam Blair in the sixth minute. The Knights have been across the line twice. And Denied once. And Darius Boyd dropped the ball over the line. Here's Miller. Losing the ball in the tackle. Waddell is there to grab it. Well, the, the errors are killing them. the attack again, Brandy. They are killing them, the errors. There's three times now where they've turned it over inside their own half before they get to the fifth tackle and can clear it. I'll play it 30 away, Newcastle. It's Going to Scott, bouncing away from Miller's tackle on a second phase play for the Knights. Smith will just take it forward to be stopped there by Farrah. Waddell goes to Gidley. Halston through a gap. Halston came up too quickly. He left Marshall on his own, and Halston almost strolled across the line as a result. Here's Costigan feeding a short ball, a flat ball. It was ruled OK. He just five metres away. Waddell going to Mullen. He cuts one out. It was a touch by Lawrence. It won't matter. The Tigers have cracked once again. Three tries to Newcastle in succession. And the scoreboard is really mounting now. Well, you just can't afford to make those sort of errors early in the tackle count and coming out of your own end. They've been under enormous pressure for the last 15 minutes. And now the Knights come up with another one. I don't know if Lawrence got a hand of that or the ball just popped up into Gagai's hand. We watched it go past him, Chris Lawrence. This will give us a better view of it. Well, normally his left or right passing is... Well, it's the best in the competition from Jared Mullen. He didn't get that one right, but they get the result. A chance here for the skipper to make it a 10-point game. The Tigers were roaring to begin in the first five minutes with all the football. Knights have had plenty of field position and points to show off at 16-6. Let's go downstairs to Andy. What's even more impressive is the fact the Tigers, not the Knights, are running with a pretty strong northeasterly behind them. How good's Travis Waddell going? Up until 10 days ago, he wasn't part of the Newcastle structure. They had Danny Vaderis and Matt Hilder as hooker number one and two. Travis Waddell throwing a lifeline from Wayne Bennett. 
as was Dane Gagai, the man on screen just then in 2012. Tremendous asset now on that right hand side, the combination of Aquila Uate. So Neville Costigan out there in the build up to that try. He's replaced Cade Snowden as Robbie Rocco takes it forward and will play it there for McManus. Good run by the winger. Brings it back up with intent off the halfway line on just three plays. The speed of the game really has amped up in 2013. That's noticeable in round one with the new interpretations in the play of the ball. And the Tigers at the moment struggling to go with Newcastle. Yeah, heard a lot of players over the weekend make comment about the quick play of the balls and the fact that the referees are very strict on the ruck. No hands in the ruck. No penalising anyone that does it. Another huge chance here for the Knights. And they'll begin this set of six with Costigan. The player 25 away from the Tigers line. Tyrone Roberts is out there now and working things from dummy half with Kurt Gidley remaining in the halfback role. Now Mullen skipping, showing it there to Anthony Quinn. Doesn't quite have the leg speed that he had earlier in his career in his first in with the Newcastle Knights on the wing. The Smith goes out the back. Gidley, a ball over the top. Corabini had eyes only for the Newcastle Knights attackers. The ball was there to be grabbed. It was cleaned up by Uwate. Now Gidley comes to Costigan. Mullen. Houston as they stretch them from sideline to sideline. Quinn waiting. Roberts scampers there to dummy half. And now Mullen rubbers. More pressure on the Tigers. Cleaning it up was Jacob Miller. They'll wrap him up. They've got six more tackles coming. And it's a five-bell alarm defensively for the Tigers. Darius Boyd was out in the right there. He put his hand up. He wanted a cross kick from Jared Mullen. But that was a beautifully weighted kick. He stabbed it in behind the defensive line. Had it turning away from the Tigers. Jacob Miller was never going to get out of there. Another set of six here for the Newcastle Knights. The Tigers desperate to get their hands on the football and get through a set. As you just saw on that stat, the Knights have had almost two-thirds of possession through half an hour of play. And they still have it. Robbie Rocco bringing it back, grabbed there by Fulton. Woods is out there now wearing 19. Quite a goatee to go with it. Oh, knee surgery only weeks ago. Matt Bell is also out there for the Tigers as Roberts goes from dummy half. He's wrapped up. Gidley. Jump in there. Come into the right hand side and link up with Mullen. Gag on. Shake and bake there on Lawrence. He's lost the ball, has he? They're going to say it was stripped out by the Tigers. And the Knights get six more tackles. Now Smith it is who works it forward. He'll play it here on one. Ten metres out, they'll give away ball. a penalty as get well. Well, gee whiz, Yanelli would just continue on. They have what been under Kurt? enormous pressure. This will be a huge set of six Hold if they take there, the Brett. tap. 16-6 the scoreline. I wouldn't have done it. It was almost a fait accompli for a number of years, especially when Wayne Bennett was in charge of the Dragons. It was just take the two every time, and I guess the theory remains here in Newcastle for the moment. Yes, things might swing around in the second half to take advantage fully of what's happened in the last 15 minutes. The Tigers have barely touched the football. Now it does put it out to two converted tries. But you've got to think the odds were pretty short of Newcastle getting over the line. One, two. Gidley gets the two to make it a 12-point game. Don't forget, after the game, Monday night with Matty Johns, it's more than just mates getting together to chat about league. It's all about the best bits and news from every club to wrap up a huge weekend of footy. Matty Johns, Gordon Tallis, Nathan Hindmarsh and Lara Pitt will bring you the all-new Monday night with Matty Johns immediately following... Full time here on Monday Night Football on Fox Sports 1. Looking forward to the boys and Lara giving us their thoughts on what has been an enthralling opening round of this new season. The Knights fans, they're in raptures at the moment because their side is doing it pretty comfortably. 18 6 with 33 gone. Billy Mason is back out there, charging up towards Fulton and Farrah. Left-hand side, Costigan. 
And I think Mick Potter would have breathed a sigh of a relief with that the penalty kick. A little dummy by Tyrone Roberts. He finds a little bit of space behind the markers. Darius Boyd does similar thing. Terrific footwork. He beats Liam Fulton cold. And that's a good 15 metre run there from the fullback. Oh, it's a mismatch at the moment. They are just marching them down the field. A go wide. Gidley giving it to Mullen. Gagai wants it. Get on the outside here of Miller. He put the ball Not down long, this time. And, and the Tigers finally will get their hands on the ball again. It seems an age since they last had it. Let's get here. Well, it doesn't. The last time they had it, they dropped it. They will be desperate to get this ball down the other end of the field. And the end of their... They're set here. We'll see if Benji Marshall wants an early kick. I, I wouldn't think so. Hey, boys in front. No Woods. Didn't until the day of the game to make sure he was okay. To take his place in the lineup. And now Murdoch Masilla. Also out there. And back at the halfway line is Fat. A steadying set of six here to put a bit of pressure on the Knights. Been inside their own 20 with the ball in their hands forever, it seems. Utah. He will play it just outside the 30. You can see the formation the Tigers are going with. If you follow from behind, Marshall putting it up in the air off the outside of the boot. McManus coming in to make the catch. Wasn't a badly weighted kick, but McManus did well. The Tigers. Not able to get there to make a contest of it. And the Knights working it away for the first time in a long time from deep inside their own territory. Gagai. He has such footwork. Yuate on his outside. And they should be able to combine for so many four-pointers in 2013. Costigan. Playing it here for Roberts. I thought that perhaps when Roberts came onto the field, he might go into the halfback role, which he's filled in the past, and Gidley jump into dummy half. And they're rolling as they are at the moment. Won't change too much. Gidley and Mullen have done a good job on either side of the ruck. And Moulton to play it for the Tigers. Four minutes out from the break. Going trailing by just 12, they'd be pretty happy given how much time they've spent at this end of the field under pressure. Utah giving it to Weishman. Up there by McManus, who read the play well and came in to shut it down quickly. Now Farris spending a lot of time at first receiver to mix it up. Jacob Miller floating out there on the left hand side. As Farah works it again from dummy half. Now he goes to Miller. Quick hands. It was perhaps too quick there. Matt Bell throws a shocker. Gagai picks it up. Karabiti's chasing him. Karabiti gets there, but Gagai wins the race. Two absolute speedsters going head to head. And when Gagai picked it up, it was almost a case of shut the gate, but when not when Marika Korobiti is out there, he just about rounded him up. Again, the Tigers not getting through their set. The quick hands there from Jacob Miller. A tough one for Matt Bell to take. The ball on the foot from Gagai popped up for him beautifully, and he just had enough space, enough speed to get across the try line. The bouncing ball favouring the Newcastle team again. He did well there. A little tap with his foot off his knee up into his hands he could see Korobiti coming and it's going to be a big score line we have here at the break Kirk Gidley trying to make it an 18 point game and he splits the uprights to do exactly that 24 points to six. They were warm favourites before kickoff. But nobody can envisage this sort of scoreline. There is Marika Korobiti in the background there. Don't go early. See if he gets a chance with the ball in his hands at some stage. Anybody can match it with him. I doubt that, given Stay what we've seen so far in his NRL career. But it's all the Knights here in Newcastle. The kickoff once again. 
from the West Tigers as Mason brings it out. And Fulton will stop him. Move now, Robbie! Hold it, boys. Hold. Uh, Almost backed them into right in the field here. And almost score again the way the points have been flowing for Newcastle. Well, the score is indicative of the possession split. It's huge. The Newcastle Knights way. 64% of it. And it's where the errors have been made for the, the Tigers. The kick from Mullen. Over for Uate. It's a beauty. Corabini hangs on to him and had to as well. Now Gagai, look at his footwork. He left Lawrence just standing there wondering where he'd gone. He's no mug, Chris Lawrence. Here is Gidley coming out of the left-hand side. Roberts, Boyd, quick hands. Houston, Quinn for the corner again. He gets across the line and they will hold him up. The Knights go as close as that to putting on 30 points five, boys. in the opening Hello. 40 minutes. Hello. They were going to have one second remaining. Well, they'll have time to play the ball. What a finish that would have been to this first half. Anthony Quinn in two minds, whether to take them on or pass the ball to McManus. Terrible pass for Kurt Gilly to try and handle. He'll fire a bouncer, put down by Mason. The Tigers tow it forward. It's play on. Bell gives it to Marshall. Here they go. It goes past Miller. It comes to Lawrence. He's still going to ground oh, and boys. stops. A frantic ending to the first 40 minutes here at Hunter Stadium, 24-6. What a scoreline we had with the Knights almost scoring on the bell after going the length of the field. gets us back underway here on Monday Night Football. It's all the home side at the moment. But the Tigers, we know they have points in them. They can certainly make a contest of this yet. Mason playing across to Costigan. He was good after coming off the bench midway through that first half. Tyrone Roberts will continue at dummy half with Mullen one side of the ruck and Gidley on the other. Rocco almost losing it there at the death in the tackle of Fulton. Costing it again. Charging towards Aaron Woods and Matt Bell and Robbie Farrow. And outside the 30, here's Boyd. He did this well as well in the first half, especially towards the back end. Running late in the tackle count, giving them a fast play the ball. Mullen chased. Fulton was after him. Bouncing acrobatic take by Tim Moulton. He'll bring it back outside his own 20. Yeah, good pressure there from Liam Fulton. Had to rush his kick. Jared Mullen. Could have uh, put it in a lot better places, but the effort from Liam Fulton as Aceford gets dragged back. Come down the short side. There is Lawrence. who has really got his hands full defensively with Dane Gagai. What a stepper and a dancer. Gag guy is now a penalty for the Tigers. We started the game in a blur and scored the first try in the sixth minute. It's been one way traffic the other way against them from that point on. Marshall can give them a good chance here. Finds the line. Just pick up massive meters. But they'll have it on the attack. Barrett. Matthew Bell to work it forward, running towards Mullen. We'll see if the Tigers can target the smaller men on the field. Roberts in the middle of the park. Mullen on one edge as well. They'll be the go-to men for the Tigers. I'm looking to try and spot them up and isolate them in the defensive line as Farrah gets out from dummy half. Mason wraps him up. And they're 15 metres away. Here's Miller. He goes to Marshall at speed, putting a grubber in. Coming through was Matt Utah, but getting there in plenty of time to wrap it up was Darius Boyd, and they have it a metre out from their own line. Well, they didn't come up with a repeat set, but gee whiz, Mick Potter would be happy that they got through a set. I know they started near the halfway. At least they got to their fifth tackle. Here's Houston, working it forward, bouncing out of the tackle there of Utah, who was defending a couple in 
from the wing. And right from dummy half through Roberts. He pops the ball back. Boyd is there. That's a good sign, isn't it? But Darius Boyd is hunting up behind the man carrying the ball, looking for an offload. Keep the play going. And Mason, the Tigers were flat-footed there off the back of a good previous play by the Knights. With one more left. They'll be kicking from around about the 40 or just beyond as Mullen chips one down the short side. He goes towards the corner. Moulton will clean it up. The chase is very good for Newcastle. They've got him stopped inside his 20. The pressure on the Tigers to do it again. They can build a base here and just stem the flow of points. And score next, they can work themselves back into the game. Here's Miller. It's not really flowing for them at the moment with Miller, the first receiver. At times, Farah has been jumping out there and a little bit of first receiving himself. Now Woods spinning in the tackle. He takes the tackle, though, of Rocco and also Mason. Now Farah goes himself from dummy half. He splits them open. He's got Moulton in support. Oh, beautifully read. Darius Boyd. What great defence. And he has rocked Tim Moulton. He gambled that the pass was coming. And he read it beautifully. A ricochet off the boot of Rocco. It's still there for Matt Utah if he wants it. He puts a kick in. Not played at, they're going to say. There's Darius Boyd, the man who saved a certain six points, who has it. What a play that was, Brandon. It wasn't that special defence from Darius Boyd. He could see the cover defence coming. Benji Marshall and Robbie Farrar square. had his support player. Tim Moulton was looking to offload, and Darius Boyd took the odds to it. And here's the bus. Robbie Farrar out of dummy half. He did it at a corresponding game, round 16 last year, up here at Hunter Stadium. That time they scored a try, this time they don't. With Robbie Farrar throwing it to Timmy Moulton. He knew that the cover defence in Kurt Gidley was go going to wrap up Robbie Farrar if he took, if he threw the dummy and kept it himself. And he was there waiting for Tim Moulton. That was a special piece of play. At the back of the penalty, the Knights now have it. Just outside the Tigers' 30. Rocco sees a huge gap in behind the play of the ball. Farrell was up quickly. Woods had to do the chasing. Mason now. Bouncing off the shoulder there of Murdoch Masilla, who did well to stay with him. They're only a couple of metres away again. Looking to extend this big score line even further. A wide ball. Uate back across the middle. Now he straight hands. Aquila the Thriller putting on a show here tonight. Well, just too much speed. Aquila Uate, the long ball from Jared Mullen. They're going to check, check obstruction because Aquila did come back on the inside to see if there was any disadvantage to a Tiger defender. It did look OK live. The quick shift to the right. They're running the Tigers ragged. Newcastle off the back of the penalty. The long ball to Uate. Just watch Bo Scott. Make sure he doesn't get in the road of any Tiger defenders. There's Jared Mullen. He gets out of the road quickly. And the speed. Matthew Bell couldn't come any far, any further forward to make that tackle. He needed to, but the speed of Yaquila Uate gets him across the line. He is so dangerous coming back across a defensive line like that with his stepping ability and the power he has when he changes angle, he can absorb a bump and bust through a tackle. And once he came back away from the sideline, had a chance to wind up. Well, it was good night because there's just no stopping him. No, Matt Bell was coming across the field. Now, by the time he makes the tackle on Uate, he's a couple of metres out from the line. There's no way that anyone over the top, and it was Tim Moulton, was going to be powerful enough to contain Uate and keep him in the field of play. Not far away. Two more points. 
They've cracked the 30 already. Stick around. We've got some excitement to come right here with Newcastle in this sort of form. Let's go downstairs to Mark Gasbier. Well, what about this guy, Uate? They call him Chocky. Big, strong, fast, an amazing finisher. One of the most likeable characters you'd also meet as well. And I'll tell you what, Time you're he's on. one of the best finishers in the competition. There's no question about that. After the Tigers had a couple of early sets, and now they're going to kick it out on the full. Go, mate. Go well, on, it's just the all falling want. apart Not for the quick, West mate. Tigers. Not too, yeah. Yeah. Not too quick. Demoralising. <laughs> With the Knights back on the attack, Jared Mullen looking to get underway as soon as possible. Sorry. And the action starts just on the 20. Michael Potter must be thinking, boy, what have I got my hands uh, full with here? Doesn't he have his hands full? Here's Houston taking it forward. He'll play it 15 metres away from the Tigers' line. Get back to them every time they get the ball at the moment. It is that one-sided. And Uwate and Gagai, they may finish with five tries apiece. Here's Rocco. He'll play it for Roberts. Searching for Mullen, he found him. He goes in behind Scott. They come to the corner again. Boyd bouncing through tackles. Just about getting there again. He went so close to scoring in the first half. Now they are across again. Uate, there's a hat trick. And I said five. Can I change my mind? It might be more than five. Well, they're a shell of a team at the moment, the West Tigers. Blown away in the last 20 minutes of that first half. And not the start they wanted. Two tries to that man, Uate. You just knew he was going himself. Lawrence down low. Lawrence doesn't play a part. Did he, did he push that ball forward? I, I thought when I saw from the back end view that he might have just pushed that ball forward. Yeah, he probably ends up scoring the try anyway. This angle here will be a very good one. I thought the ball had caught some part of the line initially. It was on the line easily. 34 points to six. And returning from a shoulder reconstruction, Kurt Gibbon is getting some kicking practice here tonight he misses to the right hand side it stays at 34 points to six and don't forget nrl 360 dissecting the biggest issues affecting the nrl both on and off the field and aren't there some issues opinions that matter from ben Eichen and paul kent with guests willie mason and braithan astor that's this week nrl 360 wednesday nights 7 30 on fox sports one i might be talking about the implosion of the Tigers here with Willie Mason and Braitha Nasta on the desk this week. Here's McManus ducking under a tackle there. Roberts. Gidley. Comes across to Houston. And they're a different side to the side that opened up the season 12 months ago, aren't they? I know they're playing the Tigers who are obviously uh, overmatched here at the moment. And there's another penalty. If they don't spill the ball, the Tigers may not touch it for some time. And Jared Mullen, again, has an opportunity to work the ball down well inside the Tigers' half via that penalty. I wouldn't be backing them not to score a try either in this set. No, uh... Have a wager on it. It'll be a dollar twenty. Fives on in the old terms. Here is Rocco. We'll play it 35 away. Let's take a look at what the Knights line up with. As Costigan takes it down the middle of the field. You can see Gidley on the left hand side issuing Rocco forward to take the decoys. It comes out to Gidley behind him. He goes to the line and almost gets away from Fulton. He flicked it back on the inside there. Darius Boyd picks up the loose ball. And it maintained possession as it goes to Rocco. He goes wider still. Mullen giving it to Scott. A step past the advancing Adam Blair. Alex McKinnon is out there now. And he'll play it 10 metres away. They've got two tackles left in this set. 
Roberts. He goes to Gidley, taking them on. Fulton making the tackle on him. One more play in this set. Now Mullen in across the field. You are Tay. It's too big. Corabiti though knocks it on. Lock on in goal. And Go Newcastle on, will keep possession. Well, when you're playing like this, those things always go against you. You are Tay well in field there. Just stuck a hand up, and that was enough to put Corabiti off the take. Mullen the cross field kick. Couldn't handle the one over his shoulder. Just keep behind it, boys. Keep behind it. Well, they didn't come up with points, but the next best result with another set of six. They're rattled, aren't they? They're 67% on possession. A high dropout from the Tigers, taken by Gidley and given to McKinnon. By the time this set of six ends, it'll be the best part of 10 minutes since the Tigers had the ball. At, at this stage of a game, I can't honestly think of a side that has dominated possession like the Knights. 67% of it. This deep in the game, it's remarkable. Now Boyd, he'll play it 10 metres away from the Tigers line. Roberts still working things with Waddell back on the bench. Now Houston running a long way before he's taken to ground there by Farrah and also Woods. Gidley looking out the back. Put even numbers wide as well. Oh, Bo Scott wore a shot from Chris Lawrence. He rocked him, but Scott bounces back to his feet on the last. Goes to Mullen, kicking again. Pressure here on you. Ty McManus! James McManus without a cape because he doesn't need one. He would have leaped all buildings in a single bounce. The flying Scotsman. Well, they didn't get the result when they came this side with the kick to Uarte, but James McManus, there's not much you can do about that. Very little. It was an inspiring tackle by Chris Lawrence. The defence on Bo Scott, Jared Mullen, deep into the in goal area, and the much shorter man, Matt Utai, little to do in that. Going backwards, you can't leap in the air when you're running backwards. It's almost impossible. And that left it up to McManus. Gidley's kick. Here's a good one once again. They've notched up 40. And we still have 24 minutes of the game remaining. Well, at 60... Perhaps 70 is not beyond the realms of possibility because the Tigers have now gone beyond 10 minutes without touching the ball. They've got no energy left to stop the go forward of the, the Newcastle side. They're not helping themselves by giving the Knights penalties around the halfway mark. 228 tackles to 113. That's the difference. It's an unbelievable differential. 228. 113. And here we are with almost an hour gone. The possession now 68% to the Knights. Jeremy Smith taking it forward. Looking beyond the 30. The Tigers just can't match them physically. In any department at the moment. Here's Mullen to kick. Looking for the side on it. Goes over the head of Joel Reddy, who's out there. And guess what? It's a 40-20, and the Knights hang on to the ball. Not the first time Jared Mullen has put in one of those banana kicks. Joel Reddy was up flat. And once it hit the ground, he was never going to stop it. He gets some good distance on those kicks. Banana kicks, normally, well, they get the bend, but they suffer in distance. And that time, you can see the curve of the ball around the back of Joel Reddy. That's a fantastic kick there by the Newcastle 5-8. Here we go again. Here we are. We're inside the Tigers 20. Okay, I was talking, six about, tackles. talking about sweeps before. Shall we start one the Tigers actually touch the ball again here tonight? Again in the short side. Here's Boyd from the scrum win. Off the back of the 40-20 by Mullen. 40 points to six. And there's plenty more coming from what we've seen so far. 
What a blistering start for the Knights, and the chant goes up here at Hunter Stadium. Roberts at dummy half. Finds a long ball here to Gidley. Mullen has options. He had Gagai out the back. He goes himself as the Tigers came up and in, out wide, to herd him back towards the middle. Gidley, he gets a crack. Going flat to his left-hand side to Jeremy Smith. The Tigers got numbers there through Fulton, Marshall, and also Galloway, but they drag some defenders towards the middle of the park. Roberts going himself, but he loses it 20. at the line. Yes, he did. Jeremy, yeah, Benji Marshall Lost around the Roberts there. 20 metre. Let it go. Looked for a moment like he was going to score, but the, the contact forced the ball loose. Robbie Farrar, quick start. Well, they've got it back. And by my reckoning, it is 14 minutes plus since the Tigers last touched the ball. There you go. 96% of the ball in the last quarter of an hour. That is unheard of. Well, let's see what they've got in attack. Left in the tank. Corabiti tries to get something started. And he gets it into Knight's territory. And they'll get a penalty. Hand in the play, the ball against the Newcastle Knights. And the Tigers get a chance after getting a couple of opportunities to begin the second half. It's begun both halves well, but outside of that. That's just been a complete shut in. And they looked good, didn't they? In the opening five or six minutes, Blair scored for them in the six minutes to make it six points to nil. Forget about it. Here is a nasty losing the ball in the tackle. They turn it over pretty meekly inside the Knights 20. I guess that's the temptation. And Astor getting hit. It knocked him sideways, the contact. He thought there was an opportunity to pass the ball. And all it does is hand a turnover to the Newcastle side. Have the game well in hand for the Knights, quite obviously, but Wayne Bennett will be keen to see them finish the job here. He won't want them to clock off and just go through the motions. He'd like to see them roll out their sets and work through what they've been working on in the pre-season, but without getting too trigger-happy. I want them going sideline to sideline from inside their own territory. I guess that is the temptation when you've got a side like the Tigers that are finding it hard just to get off their own line. There is plenty of space there for the Newcastle side. McKinnon to play it. Roberts still out there for Liddell inside the final quarter of the game as Scott goes to ground. Look at the boo it's been for Scott and Smith. I thought they could rack up a scoreline like this. Now Mullen went to ground awkwardly. Oh, did he fall on the shoulder? He has a history of shoulder problems. What a shocking start to the season this would be for Jared Mullen. He hit the ground pretty heavily in the tackle. The kick goes down to Moulton. He gives it off to Reddy, who's out there for Matt Utai, who, well, to put it in old-fashioned terms, was given the hook after the try by McManus. Was it a, maybe a wrist or a forearm injury here for Mullen? He was looking towards that forearm or wrist right then, but as I mentioned, shoulder problems have been the story of his career. Yeah, don't forget he had, had a pec problem too, which caused him some issues. Wait. You would say that's a shoulder problem, the way he landed on the ground. He landed on his elbow, jarred the shoulder. In the meantime, the, Knights, the, the, the Tigers have received another penalty. Blair working it towards the halfway line for them. Back to Fat. Goes across to Marshall. Here's Fulton working it back across the halfway line. Oh, has he been hurt? Sure looks like it. A little cramp perhaps. No, he is, he is cramp. Someone else staying play. around Someone else for the... Right on, tackle three. I thought he might have popped the head off. He's okay. Not 
take me. He goes back, try and stretch out that calf muscle. Galloway to play at 40 out from the ninth line. Marshall, Farrow wrapping around the back of him, giving it to a nasty wow. And into a welcome committee, and he's put it down once again. Scott loses it here. There'll be no advantage scrum to the Knights. And they will get the ball from the scrum feed as you hear Jared Sutton. Yeah. So. Like Not a happy Jared couple of minutes there for Braith and Asta. That's his second drop in successive sets. There's a host of Newcastle players waiting for him when he received the ball. Almost impossible for Mick Potter to, to gauge anything out of the, this sort of play. And, and the fact that Newcastle have dominated possession, it's given him no idea what the Tigers can do with the ball. I guess there'll, there'll be some hard looks at training this week about some of their one-on-one -on -one defence. As it turns out, it's been a tough weekend for a couple of new coaches, hasn't it? Nick Potter here with the Tigers. Matthew Elliott, the former Panthers coach. Eels putting the Warriors to the sword. The Warriors were disappointing. It has to be said, first up. Under their new coach. Both going to have some work to do before round two. Here come the Knights again. They lost the ball Jacob here. Miller. Snowden was taking it forward, but Jacob, Jacob Miller. Miller was underneath the big front row and Bo. ripping the ball out. Bo. Another penalty. And look out, Tigers, because uh, the Knights are headed towards 50 at the moment. Yeah, pretty easy call there for the, for the referees. The obvious strip from the Tigers' halfback, Jacob Miller. <laughs> Tigers biggest previous loss in round one of a season back in 2005 and they lost 28 points to 12 to the Parramatta Eels and they've gone beyond that mark by some stretch right here and who knows where we'll finish as Waddell is back out there he'll play it for Roberts who stays on the field Gidley is also still there comes across to Boyd Looks as though it's Jared Mullen. It's a precaution who's been taken from the field as Boyd ducks towards the line. We'll try and get a report as to the condition of Jared Mullen before full time here as Boyd will play it just a metre or so away from the Tigers line. Gidley goes through the hands of Waddell. Bring it back towards the middle. Roberts is playing it. The 5 8 position on this right hand side. And here is Smith going to McKinnon. Juggled the ball now, loses it backwards. The Tigers have it. Oh, they're going to say it was stripped out. I don't know about that. It looked as though it might never have been secured comfortably there by McKinnon. Let's see what they're thinking here as far as points are concerned. You can imagine they're going for six and not two, but they will take the two. Perhaps a little bit of pity. You don't see too much of that at this level of the game, but there is the ice pack. Jared Mullen. Has he got that on a wrist? He's just tipping some water out of it, making it easy to put, I would say. Is that is that the injury? I think he his forearm bounced off the shoulder of the Tigers defender as he went into the tackle before actually coming to the ground and that contact with the wrist or the forearm, which has obviously caused a bit of damage. Gidley. From almost right in front. An extra two. 42 to six here on Monday Night Football. Well, we don't know the severity of the, the wrist or, or hand injury that Jared Mullen has picked up, but I, I would say in terms of injuries and his history, yeah, maybe the, the, the palm... The palming of Braith and Nasta caught him on the head. It might have jarred the wrist. Oh, I think there'd be plenty of Newcastle people thankful away. that it's not a shoulder or a, an upper, upper body injury which he has uh, struggled with throughout his career. I think you're right. That would be, as long as it isn't uh, anything too serious, a good sign. Here is McKinnon bringing it back with bodies going everywhere. The Knights are on track to rack up there. Okay, biggest okay. win. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. Boom. Round one of a season. And now the boys getting a little Pick bit up. fractious Pick out up. there. Pick a bit high there from, Kurt. I think Kurt. it was Jack Buchanan. I, I could be wrong. Just, there was a few Tigers in the tackle there. Nuate taking the run from dummy half. The result, another penalty to Newcastle. 8-4. They lead the penalty count. A 
a stat on our screen that isn't in favour of the Knights. After 68 minutes of action, here's Scott fending away from Chris Lawrence, who's had his hands full defensively with any number of players out there tonight. Some physical domination from Newcastle. Roberts going to Boyd, a flat pass. Amanda McManus one on one with Reddy, who stayed with him and wraps him up just at the 20. Quinn giving it to Boyd. Now Houston galloping towards them. Stopped there by Farrer and also Murdoch Masilla. They keep it coming in the same direction. Jeremy Smith. Now he knows one way. He tucks it under the arm and just charges at them. Rarely offloads. Here's Roberts. Grubbery. He got a pass Marshall. Got a pass Moulton. That was pretty clever. And it'll earn them six more tackles, will it? You put the ball down the line. Yes, the it will. Reddy will contend that he made it back to the field of play. Well, it was a near thing, wasn't it? And the referee called it. You put it down on the line. That's the in-goal area. Nice little kick there from Tyrone Roberts. 37 to 6 is the tackle in the opposition 20 stack. Stay behind it! Nice reflects the scoreline. Well, all the stats are so lopsided. There's only 10 minutes to go in the game. Extraordinary. The possession that the the Knights have had over that period. Not entirely sure what the shallow high dropout was about for the Tigers. Some consequential at this point in time. If you're not going to get there and make a contest of it, just pump it as far down the field as you possibly can. Now you are take playing it. Liddell getting out to link up with Gidley. He goes wide. Gagai was under pressure from Corabiti. Well read by the Fijian flyer. And has possession for the Tigers. Well, the fact that Uate had just played the ball in field made it an easy decision there for Marika Korobiti. Gagai was on his own. He only had to worry about one man. Now the Tigers have lost it again. It's young Jack Buchanan on debut tonight. He has put it down. It means Newcastle will have it from just outside. The 20 as we go inside the final 10. Thought his first stint was pretty good. When he left the field, it was six points all, but they have uh, amped it up and then some from that point on, the Newcastle Knights. We haven't been able to see it tonight, but they have got a couple of good young front rowers in with Aaron Woods, and there's a, there's a bit of Aaron Woods about Jack Buchanan, the way he moves. He's very tall. Tough game to debut. I remember it for all the wrong reasons. Unfortunately, as Gagai will play it here at the 20. Roberts, service from dummy half has been good while he's been out there, but now he's playing as a half, not a hooker. Riddell back out there. Now Gidley heading towards the line. Imagine Travis Riddell will see more action in the weeks ahead with Matt Hilda having a broken thumb and Danny Badiris. A month, perhaps even more away from returning from the, a back injury. Oh, high tackle, was it? Yes, it was. Galloway up above the shoulders there on Robbie Rocco. Well, they've taken the two points every time they've been down here in this position and been handed a penalty. This is good. I'm going to try and turn the penalty into six points. The players in motion around the play. The ball charging hard and straight was Kane Snowden. It was a good tackle by Anasta. With some help to stop him. You are Tay again looking for four. He'll play it blindingly quickly. He goes across to Gidley. Quick hands. Smith did well to hang on to it. And the Tigers did even better to Robbie Farrow to deny him a try. Waddell does a full 360. I think he's in the America's Cup doing a penalty turn. Now Boyd comes back to the middle. Well, he realised he was going to shit, run behind a, a decoy runner, Chris Houston, out there. He doubled back and came back inside. Here's Snowden. Half through the gap, but the ball Hand was forward. Was... Italy's pass just ruled to have been beyond Hand flat the ten, boys. to the front Roll rower. The Tigers survive. 
miss occasion, but they haven't survived on too many occasions. Knight's conversion rate of chances created and chances taken is huge here in this game. Nora Beatty. Quite one of the few highlights in the game for the Tigers. We almost incredibly tracked down Dan Gagai and stopped him from scoring. Gagai got across the line in the 37th minute. Now Farrell. Just throwing the ball back here to Galloway. And end up with it at the halfway line. Farrell coming across to Miller. Here's a Nasta. Put down by Moulton. Sums up the way things have gone for the Tigers, and you wonder where they go to from here next week. They'll take on the Panthers. Your Panthers, Brandy, who were very good yesterday. Uh, they did. After an effort like this, you, you wonder what it does to a side. I know it's round one, but what it does to a side's confidence. Newcastle spill the ball. They haven't been great in the last five or six minutes either. Newcastle coming up with some errors and really letting the Tigers off the hook. Could be embarrassing. Blake Aceford, Aceford through a gap. Turning Boyd inside out. Still there. Boyd stays with him. His defence has been outstanding at the back. Murdoch Masilla goes to Marshall. Here is Buchanan. Met a good tackle there by Costigan. A play with a full set of six, though, from close range. Farrah turning it back on the inside for Miller. Game number six of his NRL career. Here's Buchanan again. Working it forward. Not much happening for the youngster there. Stopped by Houston and also Waddell. Now Farrah rubbering. Moulton chasing. Knocked a Newcastle Knight to ground in Jeremy Smith. We'll see what the referee thought of that. Uh, Rod Tangle four, but no try. Just look for a push in the back. Well, I don't know what Tim Moulton could have done about it, but contact is contact. They were both in line with the football. Smith got himself in a very good position, almost got his hands to it, did get his hands to it, just couldn't knock it dead or force it. And Moulton was able to get over his shoulder and put the ball down. Robbie Farrah created try number one. Might have done enough there. The clever little kick in behind the line. How significant was the contact between Moulton and Smith? Smith reacts pretty quickly. I think having a look at that one right there, you'd have to say it was a, a decent enough shove in the back to perhaps deny Tim Moulton a try. Uh, video referees have a quick call. They do agree. Red lights from Henry Perinara and Steve Clark. Yeah, can't agree. Can't disagree with it. I don't know whether Jeremy Smith was going to get the ball, but it denied him any chance of making a play at it. I think that's the key component of that uh, point, isn't it? That while the ball might have beaten him on the bounce, he was denied a chance to get to it with the shove. 21,000. 935 here tonight at Hunter Stadium to see a big victory from the locals and get all of them back and then some. Next time they're in action here, we'll see the Knights next at Brookvale this Sunday night. Sunday night football coming to you live on Fox Sports 1. With the Seagulls, what a win that was against the Broncos. Kick off their campaign at Suncorp Stadium. A big win here by the Knights. Should ensure there's a big crowd there at Brookvale next Sunday night. Help two! Wait with me, guys. Wait! Jeremy Smith playing. Goes across to give him. Comes to Houston. Towards Murdoch Masilla and also Marshall. Costing it again. And plenty of touches. 14 carries of the ball now. After coming off the bench for Wayne Bennett tonight, here's Roberts. Goes across to Boyd. Fends away from Chris Lawrence. Goes across the field, Uate style, but coming up quickly to make a tackle was Matt Bell. He's had a game, the Newcastle fullback. He has been in everything, Good. Darius Boyd. Kurt Gidley grubbering. Moulton is there. He gives it to Joel Reddy. And he works it forward for the Tigers. You 
Fanning. Hold! 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 Straight. Farrow. Now he's cramping up. He's made 46 tackles, Robbie Farrow. You can understand the body giving up after that sort of effort. Wait for the referee. Some sort of workload. Boy, they've had some traffic. Possession, incredibly. Still going the Knights' way. It's 68%. I can't remember a team finishing a game with only 30 odd percent of the ball. Getting through 15 sets, that's all the Tigers have done so far. Can you imagine if it was the sort of heat that they played in yesterday with that sort of possession swing? Well, I think there might have been a few more down with Cream. Marshall giving it away to Murdoch Masilla, who's out there ranging on the edges. Already knocked to ground, and as a result, the Tigers will get a penalty. Blake Ashwood gives the touchdown to Clapp and says, You got that one right, boy. I don't know that the, the way things have been ruled tonight on field have uh, hurt the Tigers too badly. Here's Matt Bell. Working it inside the Newcastle 30. Watson there at dummy half, giving it to Buchanan. Now Farrell. Gives it to Bell. Much gas left in the tank for the Tigers. No energy here in attack after all the work they've had to do defensively. Buchanan almost slipping in for a try on Dabu. He plays it for Farrow, who dummies and goes himself. But they were waiting for him. And they're waiting offside. That was Darius wasn't square, mate. He was standing offside. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Let it go the other way. saying Boyd wasn't square. You've got the mark now, Robbie. They've been too far away from defending on their own goal line where you don't have to be square. Well, there was a marker. Darius Boyd was standing beside the marker. Now, unless he was in front of the line, well, it doesn't matter if you're not square. Galloway playing. Comes back to Marshall. Little in and away and getting across the line. Did they spin him on his back? Yes, they did. You got it, mate. Here it is here, Benji. The Knights will be two. desperate to keep their Wait, line intact here. Wait, get on side, everyone. 42 Wait, points is impressive, but just side, as please. impressive is the fact that they've dominated possession and kept the Tigers for just six points. Galloway. Three more plays for the Tigers with 20 seconds left in the contest. Hasn't really been much of a contest, has it? The Knights have slayed them. Murdoch Masilla playing it. Farrah going again from dummy half, and they just won't let him sneak in. They are ready for him, and the Tigers will have one last crack at them. Buchanan feeding it across to Marshall. Back on the inside, Moulton reaching out. The Marshall pass on the inside was OK. The Tigers scored the first try. They will score the last try through Tim Moulton. But outside of that, it was all Newcastle here this evening. A little consolation, that one for the West Tigers. What a great start for the Newcastle Knights. Corresponding game last year, heartbreak for the Knights, a golden point loss to the Dragons. The expectation was huge. Not so big this year, but gee whiz, you have a look at some of the players that they've been able to assemble for 2013. When things are looking bright for Newcastle, the Tigers... Well, there's a lot to think about for the West Tigers. I, I can't remember a game where the stats have so heavily favoured one side. Well, off the back of the last few sets of six the Tigers had before the bell, they've been able to bump their possession to 35% for the game, but that's where it will finish. Marshall misses... And at full time here in Newcastle tonight, the Knights 42 against the Tigers 10. We use the speed to take them on. This has been a production of Fox Sports in partnership with the National Rugby League.